Hello friends, welcome to the channel. My name is Pratik and in today's video, I'm going to show you if you are using phone pay application and if you don't remember your UPI pin, then how can you change it? So today's video is all about that. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Now, without wasting any time, let's start the video. Now to reset your UPI pin in phone pay application, all you have to do is you have to open the application first. You have to complete the login process and once the process is completed, once the application is completely started, this is the kind of basic interface you will be able to see on your mobile screen. Now, if you don't remember your UPI pin in phone pay application, all you have to do is you have to click on profile icon, which is present at the left hand side top corner. So after selecting profile option, uh, we will be on the next page and in payment instrument, uh, you can check out the bank account, which you have already added in the application. Now, all you have to do is you have to select the bank account option. For example, as you can see, I have added multiple uh, bank account over here. Now, all you have to do is you have to select the particular bank for which uh, you don't remember the UPI pin. For example, as you can see, I have added Kotak bank over here, HDFC bank and Indus in bank account. Now, if I don't remember the UPI pin of my Kotak bank, then I will be selecting that particular account. So you have to do the same. Now on the next page, you will be able to check out the basic details, the UPI IDs, which you have for this particular bank account in phone pay application. Now, in front of UPI pin option, you will, uh, you will be able to see that you get two options. One is reset and another one is change. Now, if you know your UPI pin, but still if you want to change it, you have to select change option. But if you don't remember your UPI pin, then you have to select reset option. So yeah, I'm going to select that particular option. After selecting reset option, we are on the next page and on the next page, we have to enter the card details. And once it has been done, you have to click on this arrow sign and we have to go further or else you can just click on proceed. So I'll enter the card details very quickly and I will show you. So guys, as you can see, I have entered the last six digit of my debit card and the validity date. Once it is done, you have to click on proceed option. On the next page, we have to enter the OTP, which we will be receiving on the registered mobile number. So we will be waiting for the OTP now. So I have received the OTP uh, guys and it is auto detected. So once the, once you enter the OTP, all you have to do is you have to click on the stick mark sign at the bottom. On the next page, you will be able to check out that you will get an option to set new six digit UPI pin. So you have to enter the new six digit UPI pin over here and you have to click on this tick mark sign at the bottom. I have entered the UPI pin. I'm going to click on the stick mark sign. Now on the next page, we have to confirm the new six digit UPI pin and then once again we have to click on the stick mark sign. So I'll do uh, do that very quickly. So guys, I have entered the UPI pin once again. Now I'm going to click on this stick mark sign. Now it will take some time. So we have to wait for it. And now you can see UPI pin successfully set. So by using this reset option and using our debit card details, we have successfully uh, changed the UPI pin. So you have to follow the same steps in case if you don't remember the UPI pin in phone pay application. So that's pretty much it for today's video guys. If you like this video, hit that like button, share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.